everyone, this is Raja Supreme Master Inam. I'm a disciple of Namo Resorting Emperor Metra Mr. Jiong Chen, who is the founder of Metra Iguan Dao. Huang Tian Wu Ji, Hou Tu Wei Zhen, Long Yan Feng Di, Hua Yu Ru Lai. We know the planet Earth we live is full of life. But do you ever think about maybe the Earth itself is a giant living organism? Some scientists support this point of view and regard the Earth as conscious and sentient. Moreover, the term the orbit of the Earth is also known to the public. That is summa resonance. The resonance cannot be heard with human ears because it is an extremely low frequency wave. It is generated and excited by the lightning discharge in the cavity formed by the ground and the Earth's upper atmosphere, and it is a beating pulse of electromagnetic waves around the planet. The fundamental summa resonance, that is space frequency, is around 8 Hz. There are some articles arguing about whether the base frequency is rising. Even though I cannot find enough evidence to prove there is a significant change on the base frequency. However, I do observe the huge amplitude fluctuations happening for many times in the past year. There may be some factors to affect the amplitude fluctuations like weather conditions, lightning, and the activity in the Earth's magnetic environment. Moreover, according to some research, they are also affected by cosmic radiation. So I'm thinking about whether the huge amplitude fluctuations of summa resonance happening frequently imply we are undergoing a big environmental change and are exposed to increasing cosmic energies. According to some articles, some people claim the high pressure of summa resonance may bring people some uncomfortable symptoms like temporary deafening, tension or anxiety, and extremely fatigue or extremely energy burst. Moreover, some ways are also suggested to acclimate the body to accept the higher vibration like meditation, exercise, and taking enough rest. As an empath, I believe the huge amplitude fluctuations can bring us impact and also agree the way suggested can help us on our health condition. As our body, mind and soul are connected, I believe the high vibration also affects our soul. So is there any more fundamental and comprehensive way to strengthen our body, mind and soul to prevent the disturbance from the huge amplitude fluctuations. From my point of view, the way is to promote our spiritual level and to connect us with the higher spiritual realm. Huge amplitude fluctuations may not only bring people some uncomfortable symptoms, but also make more people spiritually awakened. We are undergoing a dramatic change caused by COVID-19 pandemic that lead to a big loss of human life. This disease is so unforeseen and unpredictable that make more people to think about whether the material things are our only focus on the Earth. I believe the answer should be no. So, apparently, it's the time for our special promotion. But how to make it? In Metro Guangzhou, we develop our celestial potentials that can help us to prepare ourselves in the following three ways to lower the negative impact from the high vibration of summa resonance and enhance our soul or spirit. First, raise our energetic level and strengthen our aura or energy show to prevent the disturbance from the high vibration. Moreover, we can cleanse the negative energy surrounding us that may come from the increasing cosmic energies we are exposed to. Second, release our karmic burden 
as possible as we can. Karmic burden is usually locking us and preventing us from our spiritual promotion and energy rising. It affects us not only in this life but also in the future lives. There may be several ways to release our karmic burden. One of more effective ways is to fight against the devil or evil spirit behind the karmic burden. Under guidance from the normal exalting emperor Maitra Mr. Jiong Chen, who is the founder of Maitra Guan Dao, we enhance our spiritual league combat abilities and defense systems to overcome the interference from the karma. Third, have our divine self, that is also called Fa Shen, formed through the spiritual cultivation in Maitra Guan Dao. Our divine self has great wisdom. It can not only remind us in our daily life on significant issues, but also lead us to build our divine path to a higher spiritual realm. I want to share one story about my fashion. I remember five years ago, originally, I did not plan to join your significant travel activity of Metra Guangdao. That can help us on our spiritual cultivation because that time I was handling a project at work and the workload was very heavy. So firstly, I regarded I was unable to take leave to join this travel activity. After making this decision, I was so depressed and unhappy, but for no reason. One day at night, I clearly heard some words coming from my heart. It said, this life is just like a flash in the pan. On spot, I understand that was my fashion talking to me. So I changed my mind to attend this activity. I stopped being depressed but felt relieved instead after signing up for this activity. Finally, I not only attended this meaningful journey but also smoothly completed this project without any delay and obtaining a good score. Actually, when doing this project, I got more inspiration on work than before and I know that was for my fashion to facilitate my work. So, I think this experience is a good example that if our mindset and actions are more aligned with those of our fashion, then we can create a win-win situation. Okay, that's it for today and thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe my YouTube channel if you are interested. See you next time. Bye-bye.